Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Yesterday's rally extended overnight with beans up about eight cents, corn up a penny, and wheat up about three cents. I think yesterday the market uh, had felt that if we put together the weather, um, it might suggest that whatever the USDA says this week, as far as U.S. corn and soybean crop estimates are, the final crop could be a little smaller. So people are putting a little weather premium back in the market. We also have not seen a lot of farmer selling in the marketplace, which uh, allows, at least on the beans, to rally over delivery values, which also offers support underneath the market. USDA rated the corn crop 60% good to excellent versus 61 last week. Uh, crops declined in Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, and Nebraska, but improved in Indiana and Missouri. And Minnesota is still the crop that's rated the best across the nation. One private crop analyst still estimates the crop yield at 163.5 versus the government's 170.7. When we look at September 1 stocks, uh, everyone expects it around 2.3 billion bushels versus 1.7 last year. Exports for the quarter 516 versus 696 last year. And feed, seed, and industrial use a little over a billion seven versus a billion seven last year. USDA rated the soybean crop 60% good to excellent versus 59 last week, and that's the second week in a row which crop ratings improve. They again declined in Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Nebraska, but improved in Indiana, Minnesota, Tennessee, and Ohio. And the private group is still estimating yield 46.5 versus USDA's 48. September 1 stocks, a lot of people are at 385 million bushels versus 197 last year with exports around 240 versus 289 last year, and the crush at 437 versus 448. The big thing here is the residual. Um, some people expect a negative residual of 125 versus a negative 82 last year. 94% of the winter wheat's harvested. Spring wheat was rated 32% good to excellent versus 31 last week and 68 last year. And September 1 white wheat stock should be around 2.1 billion versus 2.5 last year. Funds were buyers of beans, meal, corn, and wheat yesterday, and sellers of a little bit of oil. And in comparison, U.S. soybean prices on a FOB basis are around $375 a ton. Brazil, $386, and Argentina, $368. And the Argentina farmer was a seller of beans yesterday. On the corn side, we're at $162 per ton. Brazil's $162, Argentina's $153, Ukraine's $169. And on the wheat side, our soft wheat FOB prices are $192. Russia's in the 160 area, while the EU's around 202. So um, I think what we're focusing on mostly is how does the crop end up weather-wise and what does the USDA say on Thursday. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.